Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Chad, the Grill Dad. On today's episode, or I should say, on today's diary entry of the Grill Channel, we are going to be smoking a top round sirloin cut. Um, yes, so a lot of people roast them, a lot of people put them in a the slow cooker. We're gonna smoke one. So I'm gonna show you this meat right here, tell you what we did with it and we'll flip things around real quick. All right, so this is our top round roast. Uh, it's going to be sliced kind of like a prime rib. We're gonna make this essentially like a prime rib. Um, it is about three and a half pounds. And what we did was we got this seasoned about 30 minutes ago. We pulled it out of the refrigerator about an hour ago, let it set, and then we got it to... Once, once it's set and we got it to um, warm up a little bit from being in the refrigerator, I rubbed it down with two tablespoons or so of olive oil, and then I used heifer dust. It's the Rectech uh, Benz heifer dust. It is for beef products. It is salt, pepper, garlic, um, chili powder, parsley, sorry, paprika, parsley, and onion powder. Um, it is a, it is a new seasoning I just got when I got the Rectech Grill. Uh, I bought their package deal that came with, I want to say, eight to ten different rubs and two sauces. So this is the third rub we're trying uh, from the Rectech rubs. I, I've liked, I liked the ones we did yesterday. The ones we did with the chicken thighs, the Greek seasoning, and also we, for lunch today we ate the um, Southwest seasoned chicken breasts. We made uh, Southwest chicken wraps with them. They were actually really, really good. So a little bit of backstory on where we're at with this channel, what, what the goal is, is we are professional food bloggers. My wife runs the Diary of a Real Housewife. It's our website. That's where all our recipes come from. I'm going to be adding recipes to the re website via smoking. So we're, we already have smoked pulled pork and different things like that on there. We will be adding these recipes that we're doing. They're just going to be simple, easy to make that any housewife or single parent or on the go dad can do. Um, and that's going to be on the website. The videos I'm making here is just a separate channel from that uh, just because these videos are not really going to line up with exactly what we're doing in that channel. But that's okay. I'm going to do this on my own. So we're going to get this on the grill right now. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that. So we got the chuck roast. We're going to insert the, the uh, temperature thermometer in there. And what I got is the Rectech 700 preheated to 250 degrees. You want to do 250 degrees for about three hours is what I'm going for on this on this cook you ideally want the inside of the um, roast to be in anywhere in between 133 136 if you like it rare 136 to 140 degrees um, for a more medium medium rare uh, prime rib style cut and when you slice it up so in center so that's what i'm going to go for is more of a medium i'm going to go for like 136 to 138 degrees on the inside so three hours should be perfect uh for this maybe a little less at 250 degrees but let's get this on the grill all right so we got the roast on the grill i'm going to come back and check it in three hours or so maybe like two two and a half hours just to check it see the temperature but we've got the thermometer in. It's hooked up to our app, the RecTech app. And we will keep track of this from the inside of the house. We'll see you in a few hours and let you look let you look and see what it looks like. All right, we're about two and a half hours in on the cook. It's looking beautiful. Feels good. Internal temperature right now says it is at 144. Wow, the heat really drops when you open the lid. Ooh, that crust tastes really good. So what I'm going to do now for the next 15 to 20 minutes, I want the top to get a real nice sear on it. 
So we're gonna crank this up to about 400, 450, probably 450. Let that go for We're gonna let that go for probably 15 minutes or so. Um, 20, 15, 20 minutes, and then we will come back and take it off. All right, everyone, it's been 30 minutes since we cranked the heat up to get a nice sear on the outside and to get this, um, ro this top roast done and finished. We're gonna pull it off the grill and then we're gonna let it rest for about 30 minutes to an hour at, at minimum. So we're gonna let it rest now for a little while. Let's get it off the grill. All right, we've got it on our wooden board. We're going to let it sit down on here, like I said, for about 30 minutes. Got the thermometer out of it, turned the grill off. And now in about 30 minutes to an hour, probably just because when we're gonna eat dinner, probably closer to 30 minutes, we'll cut this up and slice and I'll show you the insides in a little bit. Thanks. All right, everyone, it has rested for about 30 minutes. We are now going to slice into it and show you what the inside looks like. I've got my insulated glove, so it's still, it's still hot to the touch just to keep my hands safe. All right, here we go. See the juice is coming out. I think it's gonna be real good. Now the question is, do we get the medium rare or medium like I was aiming for? All right, it's actually pretty medium. You can see though, it has a nice smoke ring on the outside edges. I guess now the, now the true test is to taste test it. So the three hours, what I did was the extra, the extra temperature, the higher temperature at 450 degrees for the last 15, 20 minutes is really probably what took this over to the next level for the doneness. Um, if I had stopped right at the 245 where I was, 230, before I cranked the temperature up, it probably would have been perfect um, medium rare slash medium. This is definitely more medium. Um, the smoke ring is great. The crust is nice, has good, good tenderness. And I'm pretty excited to try this out. So next we'll do a taste test. All right, so we're back outside. I didn't realize that my kids were going to turn on the TV in the middle of that last shot. So if you hear some other YouTube channel people, AKA Dude Perfect in the background, I'm sorry about that. But here is a piece. We sliced it uh, to give it a sample. We gotta try it out. And here we go. Mmm. Really good smoke. Probably more medium, medium well than I was anticipating. The seasoning is very good. Someone just hit a golf ball into my trees over there. The seasoning is excellent. It's not too salty, not too sweet. Perfect savory seasoning. We use the Ben's Beef the Ben's Beef Rub from Rectep. But this is a good good prime rib um, style top roast cut. I probably will go less on the time on the next one, but you know, it bends really nice. It's still, t it still is tender. Um, has a good bite to it. Yeah, overall, I'm very happy with what I did. First time smoking a top round roast. And yeah, I'll have to work on getting it closer to medium rare like I would have preferred and liked, but that's okay. Overall, I think this is, is a success. See you on the next one.